Oh, Donna, why do you have to be doing homework right now? Jackie, I already told you, I spent all weekend searching for muffins. I have to do my homework and get everything done by Monday. Okay, fine. How did muffins get out anyways? I'm not even sure. The window was wide open when I got home, but that's my only guess. Like, I don't know how he, who would have come in and opened the window. Wasn't Eric the only person in here before you went to the seminar? Well, I mean, yeah, but why would he have gone into my room and opened my window when he knows that Muffins likes to be outside? I mean, I understand that they have, like, bad relationships or whatever, but Eric knows how much Muffins means to me. If that cat ever peed on my clothes, I would make its fur into my gloves and my socks. Jackie! What? Have you seen my clothes? That is a fair trade. Anyways, let's do something fun. I'm bored. Well, as great as that sounds, I'm going to have to pass. I have a ton of homework to do, and you're spending so much time focusing on Kelso and being single and putting so much energy into that. Why don't you project that energy into something, I don't know, more important, like school? You'd probably accomplish a lot more. Donna, I don't need school. I have a plan for myself. I'm going to marry the richest guy, and he's going to take care of me so I don't have to take care of myself. Plus, he's going to show me the world. Besides... School's for ugly girls. Except you, Donna. Oh, Lori, Jackie's newly and single and being a pain in my butt. Will you please take her somewhere before I slap her in the face? Sure, beats my other plans of killing a bottle of wine and watching reruns of Starsky and Hutch. Hutch's turtlenecks are so groovy. Oh, there's a party tonight, but it's all high school kids. That's perfect. A hot 18-year-old quarterback is just what I need. Besides, my last relationship ended in spite since, you know, I dated my ex's best friend just to ruin their friendship. Oh my gosh. Well, bye, Donna. We're going to this party. I know I didn't leave that window open, but why would somebody have come into my room and opened it when they knew that muffins like to be outside so much? I just don't understand where he could have gone. My name is Chris Harrison. And I'm Allison Verhoots. And we have some breaking news for you. The war has broken out in Iraq and we need you to come help save these victims. By donating money today, we can send over equipment such as bandages and any other equipment they need to help these men and women involved. With a minimum donation of $5, you will get a book called No So Defeatist. It is by a gentleman of the name Joe Sacco. It is a visual and descriptive interpretation of what the war meant to Mr. Sacco. When receiving this book, take under consideration that this book is not made for children. Although it is a graphic novel, it is very graphic. It also has images and wording that is vulgar. But it is nothing we cannot handle. By calling 1-800-HELP-SAVE, you can help today. You can help those people out there. Now we let you get back to the lit show. What's up? Nothing much. How's the muffin search going? I still can't find him anywhere. There's no trace. Oh, really? Well, if I were you, I'd check your dad's hair. I think I lost a G.I. Joe in there once. <laughs> Alright, I have a serious question to ask you, and I need you to be honest with me. Yeah, sure. Did you open up the bedroom window and let muffins out on purpose? Okay, Donna. I did open the window, but I didn't do it intentionally. What do you mean you opened the window? My memory is a little bit fuzzy, and I don't remember all the details. Tell me what happened. Well, I went over to check on the cat, like you asked me. Muffins, there you are. Oh, muffins, you look so cold. Here, take my sweater. Oh, there you go. That's a good Muffins. Good oh. Muffins, why? Why Muffins? I was just trying to help. Well, it looks like you have enough food and water, thank God. What to do now? Hmm. I know. I'll write my lovely Donna a wonderful poem. <sighs> oh, Donna, red-haired goddess of my dreams, my lovely neighbor girl. I... Oh, oh, my poor nose. Why, oh, muffins? Why, oh, muffins? Oh, oh, 
God, muffins, that's muffins. Oh, that's terrible. No, 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 no. That's what's happened? Yeah, my memory is a little bit fuzzy, but that's the gist of it. Then why didn't I find that lovely poem in my room? I didn't write the poem, but I was thinking of it the entire time I was there. So you expect me to believe that you came in and opened my window because a cat farted, and then you got scared because my eight-pound cat hissed at you? Well, I don't believe you, Eric. But you know what? I think this is what happened. <laughs> Muffin, there you are. <laughs> How's it going, pussy? Cat. <laughs> oh man, God, I hate you. Uh, oh, muffins, you look cold. Aw, oh, poor muffins. Here, take my sweater. Oh, psych! <laughs> You're a cat. Just grow more fur, whatever you animals do. Oh, wow. I'm surprised your food's still there. Thought your fat ass would have eaten it by now. <laughs> yeah, maybe you aren't a bread dead moron, huh? Yeah, maybe you aren't a bread dead moron, huh? <laughs> Don't get hit by a car or anything. <laughs> you think I punted your cat out your window? I don't know. All I know is that you hated muffins. Look, Donna, I know I didn't like muffins, but I didn't open your window intentionally. I want to believe you, Eric. I really do, but all the evidence is getting stacked up against you. Okay, Donna. I did open the window, and if muffins did get out because of me, I'm really sorry. You're sorry? You let my house cat outside on the dangerous, cold streets, and you're sorry? That's all I can think to say right now. Well, I'm sorry too, Eric. I'm sorry that my family moved in next to your crappy house. <laughs>